for a fun and unique egg hunt like no other with different divisions from toddlers to 11 years old. The Extreme Easter Egg Hunt begins promptly at 11 a.m. with music, prizes, and other fun features. The Extreme Easter Egg Hunt is presented by Cream Roll, located in the Pacifica Plaza across from St. John's. Special thanks to Marisol & Company, Pacific Island Money Pops, Hot Day Lemonade, and Pokey Snack Shack. Need not to participate in Trench Kids for the Extreme Easter Egg Hunt. BYOB, kids, bring your baskets. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion. KUAM News Headlines is presented by Calvo's Insurance, a legacy of trust. Serving Micronesia since 1938. Matson Navigation, serving Guam and Micronesia for 20 years. Cars Plus, Dodge Challenger, the undisputed champion. IP&E, fueling excellence. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. And King's Restaurant, located in Tamuning and Dededo. Always open, always local. Guam stands ready should President Trump decide to take action against North Korea. Caught on video how you can catch these thieves and put them behind bars. And the island's faithful commemorate Good Friday. Hoffa day and welcome everyone. If you're watching us on KUAM TV, I'm Crystal Paco. And a special hello to all our online viewers streaming our newscasts on Facebook Live. Guahusi Nick Delgado. Make sure to add comments and hit the reaction emoji as we report tonight's stories to let us and other KUAM fans know how you feel about tonight's news in real time. And tensions are high in the Asia-Pacific region, bringing Guam to the forefront as the U.S. military repositions assets in response to threats from North Korea. Issa Baza has more. Continuing missile threats and at least five nuclear tests to date. That's what has the United States up in arms as talks of a sixth nuclear test circulate in the national media. We are continuing uh, to monitor the situation here at Guam Homeland Security and the uh, Office of Civil Defense. And we are doing this uh, in coordination with our federal, uh, local, and military partners. Guam Homeland Security Advisor Retired Colonel George Charferis said intelligence is being monitored and briefed to island leadership. There's a U.S. Uh, carrier group headed that way. Aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinton was diverted to the Korean Peninsula this week. While national media reports that bombers are positioned in Guam to, quote, attack North Korea should it be necessary. There have also been talks of a pending nuclear test by the rogue state, possibly to align with the anniversary of the birth of the nation's founder this Saturday. After the fifth nuclear test last year, the highest ranking member of the Republic of Korea, General Sun Lin Lee, along with U.S. Commander General Vincent Brooks, visited Guam to see the island's B-1 bombers, submarines, and terminal high-altitude area defense system firsthand, noting Guam's importance in the deterrent strategy. The Republic of Korea and the United States reached a common understanding that North Korea's nuclear tests and ballistic missile launches pose serious threats to peace not only on the Korean Peninsula, but also in the world. And our two countries agreed to continue our efforts to enhance our response capability. If something were to happen, or if things continue to go in the direction they're going, Kim Jong-un and the North Korean regime must accept responsibility for anything that comes as a result. And that's really the answer, what comes next, their decision. Well, Charfris said there are no specific threats to Guam or the Marianas at this time. He said the Mariana Regional Fusion Center will continue to monitor the situation. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. While the world monitors North Korea, the U.S. today dropped what's nicknamed the mother of, mother of all bombs in eastern Afghanistan. The GBU-43, the largest non-nuclear bomb, was aimed at an ISIS cave complex in the Nangarhar province. U.S. commander in Afghanistan, General John Nicholson, says he used the bomb so Afghan troops and their American advisors wouldn't have to go in on the ground to clear the caves. There's an estimated six to 800 ISIS fighters in Afghanistan. As a result of today's strike, reportedly almost 40 militants were killed. Now to some startling video from a snatch and grab robbery at a local game room. The suspects caught on camera as they take off with the cash. KUM obtained that security, a copy of that security video as police search for the pair involved. 
A late night scare for this game room employee and at least one customer inside. Watch as the camera's set up around the business captures the incident as it all goes down. Here you see the suspects pull into the parking lot around 10 o'clock Tuesday night. Both sit inside the truck for a couple of minutes before running inside. As both men rush into the winter game room in Harmon that night, one masked man is seen here wearing shorts and slippers. He suddenly breaks the glass window at the cashier's cage. The woman, visibly terrified, covers her ears as the robbers make their way in for the grab. A second suspect breaks through the locked door. That man, also fully covered up and wearing a mask, is seen rummaging through the cashier's office and loading the money into a backpack. The first man, holding a knife, grabs the woman's purse before rushing out of the building, the second suspect rushing out from behind. The entire incident happening within less than one minute before the pair takes off in this Nissan hardbody pickup truck, missing a tailgate headed towards Marine Corps Drive. The pair got away with more than $1,500 in cash and the game room employee's purse. The game room has since reopened after repairing the damage left behind. If you recognize either of the two on your screen, you are asked to call police or Guam Crime Stoppers at 470. Seven, seven, help. Late today, Guam police confirmed the pickup truck used in that robbery had been stolen from the Kmart parking lot. Now to a story we first brought you on social media. Back-to-back -back days of large grass fires, a sure sign that we are at the peak of grass fire season. Today, plumes of smoke could be seen billowing into the air, traveling from Manilao and Barragata over parts of Route 10 and towards Mighty. The large grass fire sparked at the village border behind Eagles Field around 10 this morning. Local and Navy firefighters and forestry officials responded, but had some difficulty initially gaining access to the site. Barragana Mayor June Blas says the fire ignited in vacant properties that the military had since returned to private landowners. Of course, you can see the smoke and, and the smell of, of smoke. And so, you know, it's alarming. It's really alarming to our residents that live close by that area. It was put out just before 3 this afternoon. On Thursday, GFD spent 11 hours battling a fire at Cross Island Road near the Tarzan Falls area that spread more than 100 acres. HSC 25 provided support in the firefight. No injuries or threats to the community have been reported. The federal indictment against former girl attorney Mark Smith for alleged violations of the Section 8 housing program is shining a spotlight on others who may have conflicts of interest, at least one senator has been notified by Gura of his violation and he is now withdrawing his participation in the program. Nestor Laconta reports. Um, Senator Michael Sinicola says his Section 8 tenants have been renting from him for seven years, even before he became a senator. But when he received notice of the violation, he took action right away. We were just notified in February that uh, Gura believes that there may be a conflict. And so based on that, we're immediately complying. Uh, Gura instructed us to terminate the contract at the end of April and unfortunately we are having to do so. The potential conflict is that in his role as senator, Sir Nicholas may need to take action on legislation that directly affects Gura or vote to confirm board members. But Sir Nicholas, who is now in his third term, says he was not aware of the possible conflicts until he was notified by Gura. Was there sort of like a disclosure when you became a senator that if you had anything to do with Gura that you were supposed to uh, disclose that and discontinue that relationship? Oh uh, yeah, no, I was not made aware of any of that. And uh, if, we, if it has been brought to our attention, we will absolutely address it the same way we're addressing it today. Gura also has a waiver process where questions over potential conflicts of interest can be resolved. But Sir Nicholas has not sought a waiver and believes his cutting ties with his Section 8 tenant resolves the matter. Uh, if there's any other requirements that they want us to comply with, we'll be more than happy to. For Guam's Thank News Network, I'm Nestor Lecanto. And it's going to be a very happy Easter for some early filers. Another $1 million in tax refunds were mailed out today. This is equivalent to 390 checks for refunds that were filed up to January 22nd. Meanwhile, DRT will be opening two satellite locations on Monday and Tuesday at the Micronesian Mall and again Shopping Center for those of you who still need to file your taxes or extensions. The satellite locations will be open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please take note, they are only accepting tax returns without payments and will have extension forms for those who need them. The deadline to file is April 18th. If you are paying taxes this year, you can do so at the following three treasurer, of, treasurer uh, locations, DRT, DOA in the ITC building at the One Stop Center at DPW in Upper Tumon. A drop box will also be available outside DRT's office in Barragata for those filing after 5 p.m. Tax refunds and the Gov Guam's cash position will be at the focus of an oversight hearing 
that's been called for next Friday by Speaker B.J. Cruz, who chairs the Committee on Appropriations. Among the items he wants on are deposits into the Income Tax Refund Efficient Payment Trust Fund, as well as reports on cash inflows and outflows. The oversight is scheduled for Friday, April 21st at 11 o'clock in the morning in the Guam Congress building. It's time to break away, but still to come. The GFT gives failing marks to legislation that would change Simon Sanchez High School into a charter school. That and more on the way. Stay informed. There are more ways to experience KUAM News than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM News app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming with KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Have you gotten paid yet? That's the premium automatic insurance deduction plan from Calvo's Insurance. Paid simplifies your home and auto insurance. No down payment. No more long lines. And you can stretch your payments up to 12 months. Paid is convenient. It deducts from your payroll, your checking account, or your credit card. With Paid, you get up to 65% off your car insurance and enjoy lifestyle club discounts. Life can be easier when you get paid. Call Calvo's Insurance today and save on your home and auto insurance. Two things come to play when talking about mobile data, price and speed. Let's look at what happens when we compare the competition against it &E's $80 plan. Docomo's $79 plan comes with 6 gigs. it &E's $80 plan comes with 20. GTA's $80 plan comes with 10 gigs. Better, but you get twice as much at it and &E. it &E has the best network and the data to back it up. Get unlimited talk and text and 20 gigabytes for $80 at it and &E. Oh, and if you bring your own device, get 40 gigs. Get more during our spring clearance event going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Inherit that go anywhere attitude with the legendary rugged Jeep Wrangler 4x4 of the decade. For a limited time only, enjoy savings of $2,500 off. Or go beast mode and save up to $5,000 off Ram trucks voted Guam's best two years in a row. Plus, well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing. Get to Cars Plus today for quick and easy financing during our spring clearance event. Cars Plus, driven by you. Chuck E. Cheese's Guam is not all fun and games. Our pizza is delicious with the freshest toppings, oven baked to order. Try the fresh salad bar, sandwiches, and don't forget our mouth-watering wings. Come and eat at Chuck E. Cheese's Guam. Enjoy an afternoon under the sun for the USO's 8th annual Golf for Our Heroes Tournament presented by title sponsor GTA. Golf alongside USO Guam's top supporters, volunteers, and members from our military community on Thursday, April 20th at the Onward Telefofo Golf Course. Join us on the green for a chance to win some epic prizes, including two United Airlines round-trip tickets to Asia or Micronesia. We thank the community of Guam in supporting USO's mission to connect service members to family, home, and country. See our website or call for more details. Connect with KUAM News. Find us on your favorite social media platform. Follow us and stay in the know with Guam's News Leader. Welcome back to Guam's News Leader. And another half a day to those of you watching us live on Facebook. Share your emojis and let us know what you think about this next story. The Guam Federation of Teachers is speaking out against Bill 70, which proposes to turn Simon Sanchez High School into a charter school in order to finance the construction of a new campus. In a long list of concerns, the GFT said the bill received a failing grade because it would convert the school without a favorable community vote of 60 percent currently required by Guam law. The GFT also argues the bill would take money away from GDOE instead that money to a private school contractor, reducing resources available for other students. Health insurance company Take Care and the Seventh Day Adventist Clinic in Timuning are parting ways, SDA announced in a news release that their agreement with Take Care ends effective June 30 for medical care and July 31st for dental care. An SDA spokesperson says they will continue to accept medical patients until they can transfer to another clinic, but starting in January, Take Care patients will have to pay cash. The spokesperson says SDA decided to discontinue the agreement with Take Care because their, quote, philosophies did not align, end quote. Notices have been sent to patients. She declined to say how many Take Care members are patients of the clinic separately. KSPN reports that Take Care will discontinue operations in Saipan. 
It may have been in the works for over two years, but the future of the Guam Memorial Hospital Labor and Delivery Award remains tied up by a review from the United States Department of Agriculture. The project received tentative approval by the USDA last September, and Administrator Peter John Camacho said the hospital has also provided additional information and clarification over the past few months. He said a conference call was held with key stakeholders this week, adding he's confident parties will be moving toward a completion of the review and final approval. The $9.2 million project would transform the existing area into a state-of-the-art ward that would provide doctors and nurses everything they need to help expectant moms and babies through the delivery. The Guam Environmental Protection Agency has issued over a dozen notices of violation relative to pesticide violations in the first quarter of 2017. Many of these stemmed from failure to issue a notice of arrival identifying the imported pesticides and whether they were identified or authorized by EPA. Here's Guam EPA spokesperson Nick Lee. Other violations include um, companies that fail to have their uh, staff um, go through a basic training uh, on, uh, on application of pesticides. Uh, companies that are either in the uh, hotel industry or janitorial service uh, industry um, are required by law uh, to, to ensure that their staff are uh, properly trained and certified through Guam EPA for the application of pesticides. Lee said in addition to working with Guam Customs and Quarantine, the agency's pesticide division conducts routine inspections to find violators and bring them into compliance. Well, those with an interest in how Guam's water and sewer water works are invited to the third annual water conference scheduled for Monday at the Hyatt Hotel. Guam Water Works Authority spokesperson Heidi Ballendorf with more on what you can expect. We really want the community to come out. Anyone interested in all things water and wastewater, you're going to hear from the experts in the field. And if you do stay for the conference the second day, we're going to tour the famous Tumon Maui Well right here in Tumon. You can register online at guamwaterworks.org. She's one of only 55 selected in the nation. University of Guam student Athena McNinch was announced as a 2017 Truman Scholar. The Federal Scholarship supports graduate education and professional development of individuals committed to public service leadership. She was selected out of over 700 applications and marks the 18th Truman Scholar to attend UOG. Some of her accomplishments include being awarded the U.S. Congressional Award Silver and Bronze Medal, serving as an Alpha Phi Omega president and completing over 400 hours of community service in the past four years. Well, it was an early day for many this Good Friday, including you, Chris. Oh, yes. And it's one of the many holy days leading up to Easter Sunday. And for thousands of the island's Catholics, today is marked by solemn hike and stops for prayer at Mount Lam Lam. Here's more. It's a test of not only endurance and strength, but faith. Thousands make the annual trek up Mount Lam Lam, but only a few accept the burden of carrying the cross, a longtime tradition for Anthony Cruz and his family. The cross signifies the, what Good Friday is all about. Uh, throughout the, the, the Lenten season, uh, the cross signifies uh, what Jesus has done for us. Every year, Cruz and his family assemble the over 500-pound cross made of agar wood and transport it from their home parish of Nuestra Señora de las Aguas in Mong Mong to the top of the southern mountain. This tradition has been going on already for uh, three generations now. Uh, started back in the 70s from uh, my grandfather, uh, Antonio P. Cruz, and then second generation to my father, uh, Gregory B. Cruz, and now to uh, the, the generation now with the, the remaining family and friends and relatives and the community in whole that support the uh, continued tradition of uh, Good Friday. The tradition is evidenced by the crosses already secured atop the mountain. Today's edition marks the 13th cross. We roughly have about 13 crosses that still uh, stand erected here at Mount Lam Lam um, and we have picked each one and through fires, storms, uh, natural uh, weather, uh, some no longer exist. Tradition is a common thread among most of today's hikers, including Barbara Tenorio and Leanne Pingle, who use the time today to reflect and prepare for Easter Sunday. It's a tradition for us since we've uh, started uh, following the, uh, the cross 
from Meng Meng. It gets harder as we get older. <laughs> um, I've been doing it for years already. So it's also a tradition for me. Today's hike was extra special for Pingo. Today's hike was uh, really, it was, it was good. It was really um, very touching. I also had to read uh, the station of the cross, station four, and it, it really brought tears to my eyes. Coming up in sports, Chris has the Dial Renzone Athlete of the Week. But first, here's a look at your Easter weekend weather. Vendors, shells buy food, get fuel promo is back. Shell, cost you less, or item fresh today and start stacking on savings. Some conditions apply. See stores for details. People are talking about the new Buick. Low MSRP on select 2017 Buick SUVs in stock. That's over 4,400 on this Encore. Visit Autospot Buick today. KUAM Sports is presented by Triple J. I'm Chris Barnett with Sports. off with our Dal Rento and Athlete of the Week. Friday, woo -hoo! Here Dal Rento and Daddy Doe with my man Chris and our Athlete of the Week, uh, Daddy Lack, who's the uh, main guy behind the Mac. Of our friends, and uh, we really like getting out there and playing the ball. That's cool. Uh, Chris, man, I got a special message for you. Congratulations for being Dal Rento's Athlete of the Week. I'd like to present you this check. Who would you like to donate to? Um, we'd like to donate it to uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Guam. Uh, they're a fine organization, uh, very inspiring. Um, giving mentors to kids is a big deal, and um, things like uh, basketball and getting involved in sports and things is, uh, you know, it's a great outlet for kids as well as all the things that the Big Brothers Big Sisters do. So, um, you know, I'd like to do I'd love to donate this to them. You got it, man. And talking about big brothers, man, you got some big boys on that uh, MacTech squad in the GBA. Uh, how were you guys able to uh, get that team together? Uh, we just looked for the tallest guys on Guam. No. Uh, we actually just had a lot of friends who uh, love playing ball, and, um, you know, some of the guys weren't playing, um, and they just, they just really wanted to get on the court. So we put together a team and then sponsored a team into the GBA. What about that name, man, that name, uh, the Nerds? really sticks out. It's a real attention grabber. Whose idea was that? Uh, that's, uh, that's the MacTex whole thing. We're a, b a bunch of nerds. So, because we do computer repair and iPhone and iPad repair, so um, all the things that we do is uh, we're all nerds. And so it, it extended to our basketball team, too. All right. Hey, they're all there. Nothing wrong with being a nerd there, Dave. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm actually the chief nerd, so. There we go. Hey, he's the head nerd in charge. 
All right, on behalf of uh, Chris here, my man Dave here at Dow Rentone on this uh, Friday. Chris, what uh, you guys got going on this month? This month we got buy one, get one free, so come check me out or any of the other managers. There you go. Hey, Athlete of the Week Friday. Woohoo! Yeah. AUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Mac Tech hitting the court against the OG Tritons last night at the OG Cabo Fieldhouse. GBA action. Pumpkin turnover by the Tritons. The nerds pushing the ball the other way. Number 10, Mike Newson going window for the easy two. UOG spreading the floor, trying to catch Mac Tech outside. How about that? AJ Carlos making him pay from long range. Three pointer from up top. Maulik. Markel Wilkerson dribbles around a screen. Pull up J off. Rebound by Carlos. AJ now going the other way. Good court vision. Taking the ball through the lane in between two defenders for the tough shot at the rim. Jonathan Triplett pass to Mike Newson. Down low to Perry Bailey. One dribble goes up hard for the basket. Banks open a good Friday for Bailey. Carlo DeLeon assist to David Elias for the wide open three. Swisher sweet. Count it. Triplett now inbound pass to Michael Wilson. Back to Triplett who is calling for it. Turn around. Shot baseline. That drops two. Hard to defend the shot off the high release. Mac Tech nerds with the win, 90-78 over the UOG Tritons. A reminder, tomorrow's GBA games will be played at Teeds and High. UOG Tritons versus the Auto Spot Phoenix, 2 p.m. MVP Stars taking on Mac Tech at 4. And the Bombers at KFC versus the Two Fairies at 6 p.m. All right, Guam. Hey, you guys do me a favor. Have a great Easter. And remember, egg salad sandwich. On Monday, till then, you keep on shining. My name's Chris. Adios! on the unexpected with a car that could stop for you. Nissan Safety Shield Technologies, available in the Ultima, Sentra, and Maxima. right rent one item and get the other for free you want appliances make your own combo we've got electronics furniture and computers come in and get your own combo we have many name brands to choose from complete your home today with our rent one item and get the other for free promo here at dial rent to own come visit us at our store locations for more details Attention drivers, Triple J Auto Group has a shipload of vehicles on the way and need to make room. Now is your chance to get absolute year-end pricing during Triple J Shipload Sale. That's right, year-end closing pricing on the latest 2017 models and all remaining 2016s. New cars as low as $86 per paycheck and used cars as low as $68 per paycheck during our shipload sale. See PD and print ad for details or visit us online at TripleJGuam.com and get pre-approved instantly. Trade-ins welcome. Triple J Auto Group, customers first. Wanted, Jameson J.A. Cariaga, male, Chamorro, 31 years old. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighs 135 pounds, with brown eyes and black hair. Last known village, Jigo. He has a tattoo of the word orang on his left shoulder, wanted for violating the conditions of probation. 
If you have any information regarding this individual or if the individual being sought would like to self-surrender, please contact the Marshall's Division Criminal Section at 475-3513 or call Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357. All calls will be kept strictly confidential. And before we close out the news tonight, here's our latest round of birthday shout-outs from the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. Frankie Lynn Rosario wishing my baby girl happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Matthew C. Tiano from Ty, John, and Gia. Sharice Mesa, happy birthday to my beautiful daughter, love, mom, and family. Daryl Camacho, uh, happy birthday to you, as well as to Liz Ampalco and Carlos Calica, love the entire family. Happy 11th birthday, Anthony George, coming from mommy and the family. Happy birthday, Carla and Cepeda, and to Jenilyn. Abby Bomba, happy sweet 16th birthday to our baby girl, Love Always, your family. Happy birthday, Beth Skoglund from the McMillan crew. And happy belated birthday to Issa Marie Castro. Yeah, remember, you can be a part of the Coast Zone Creamery Birthday Club by registering online on KUAM.com. Please make sure to include your photo, your name, and your birth date. And it's time to announce the winner of the Coast Zone Creamery Birthday Cake. My turn? That, that's your drum roll. <laughs> okay. Frankie Lynn Rosario, happy birthday. Your birthday's today. Happy, extra, happy extra birthday. birthday. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> A rep right. will be contacting you, I think I'll take this one, <laughs> on how you can redeem your cake. I think we got too excited over that drum roll. Yeah. And that's going to do it for all of us here on the news desk. Extra is next. Have a great weekend. Happy Easter. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion.